after a child hurt in an apartment and then rushed to the hospital. A man is now being interviewed at police headquarters after 911 received a call from someone saying that they had killed their nephew. WPZ's Jim Smith is live on the scene tonight in Worcester. Jim? Paula, you can just imagine what Worcester police thought when they received that 911 call. It turns out, fortunately, that this little boy is not dead, but unfortunately, he has been badly hurt. Tonight, he's in the hospital, and a criminal investigation is underway. This is crazy. Worcester police were called here Thursday afternoon. Scanner traffic revealing they received a chilling 911 call from a man inside one of the apartments. He states that he killed his three-year-old nephew and says he left him inside the apartment. Fortunately, the child was not dead, but he was injured and taken to the hospital where police say he's in stable condition. Neighbors are shocked. And it just made me scared and made me want to keep my kids in the house because I figure if you could do this to your own family, then you could do it to pretty much anybody. So I was just really, really, really scared for my own kids, for everybody else's kids, and I really hope that that little boy is going to be okay. This is a cell phone picture a neighbor says shows police taking a young man in for questioning. It's not clear right now what he would be charged with. One man working nearby doesn't want his face shown, but says he did hear a child in distress. It sounded like he was screaming, but I mean, you know, just pretty much crying and sometimes screaming. And who would hurt a little kid? Police remained at the scene into the night. People living here very upset. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me here at Lincoln Village. You know, so many bad things have happened lately in the last year or two. It's kind of scary. That doesn't surprise you? No. Once again, at last report, this little boy was in stable condition, and Worcester police right now are questioning a male suspect believed to be as young as his late teens. The investigation obviously continuing in a big way. Live in Worcester tonight, Jim Smith, WBZ News.